Okay, the vibes today are bronzy, chocolatey brown. We're doing a full get ready with me makeup, hair, and outfit. So if you wanna see how I achieved this look, keep watching. First things first, I did my skincare before I did my makeup so that it would have time to settle. I moisturized with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I really like using this before I do my makeup. For my primer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love using primers that are mattifying and or blurring. Also gonna use a little bit of this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse mattifying primer in my T-zone where I tend to get the most shiny. I'm gonna use this LA Pro Color Corrector on some of my dark spots and this massive pimple that just wants to be a hater. Like, <laughs> My entire face is clear, minus this ginormous zit. I forgot how full coverage this is, so I probably didn't even need to use this much. I want this to stay put where it is, so I'm gonna use a little bit of translucent powder. This is the House Labs translucent powder. Okay, and then I'm just setting this in place. And now I can go in with my concealer and foundation. Then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Maple and just cover this up before I go in with my foundation. Dab of setting spray. For a little extra glow, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on my cheeks, blending this in with my damp beauty blender. Going in with the Lancome foundation in the shade 450W with the same beauty blender. For my contour, I'm using this Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. This is the shade Dark. And we're going to contour the big forehead. Go upwards on the cheeks. Most of the time I use a brush, but today I wanna blend this out with a beauty blender. Blend this out. Okay. I feel like that gave me a nice bronzy look. Okay, for my blush, I'm gonna use Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. Blended that out. It's giving rosy. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer again, but this is a lighter shade. This is the shade Warm Sand. I'm gonna go down the center of my nose just a bit. I just want to say when it comes to the placement of your highlight, your blush, your contour, there's so many different opinions online about placement, but I feel like you know your face and the look that you're going for better than any other person. The way I do something may not work for the next person's face. That's okay. I think it just comes with practice and knowing what you like to look like. I just get the ick when I see those videos and people are like, you're doing your makeup all wrong. I'm like, but if they like it like that, then who cares? <laughs> like, do what works for you, moral of the story. We're gonna go back in with the Damp Beauty Blender and blend this all out. For me, I feel like this step has become important because I've noticed when I skip it, I look less glowy than I would like to. So because I use so much powder in my routine because I do like a matte finish, I do find that using this setting spray after my liquids are done helps me look more like I'm glowing from within. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. All right, I'm gonna go back in with this House Labs Translucent Powder. Keep this from moving. I'm going in with the Givenchy Powder, shade three, yeah a light layer under my eye. Okay, then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Pressed Powder. This is the shade Tan Deep. And use this to set and brighten under my eye. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with another Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is a perfecting micro powder. I think it's supposed to be more like a pressed powder, but I actually use it as a bronzer. Um, this is shade four. One day I was just kind of like, mm, let me try it as a bronzer. And I like it. Use this to set everywhere I put my contour and just in general bronze the face up a bit. I'm gonna go back in with the Givenchy powder to bake. 
You don't have to do this, but I like to do it to catch any fallout from my eyeshadow. Gotta get the smile lines. Also, I don't want those creasing. I'm using a Q-tip to get any foundation off of my eyebrows. They are microbladed. So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the same Charlotte Tilbury um, perfecting powder. I'm gonna follow a little bat brow bone here. I use it as an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base depending on the look. Then I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. I feel like this palette just has all the essentials. Okay, I'm taking this dark brown color here. I'm gonna use it for my outer corner. I'm going from the outer corner out and then a little bit in, like halfway in to my crease. I feel like adding a little bronzy shimmer today. So I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario Metallics palette. Um, and I'm gonna use this brown shimmery, I think. So when I wanna switch up my eyeshadow looks, I do step one with the bronzer, step two with a dark brown in my outer corner. And I'll choose like any one of these colors and just put it in the center of my lid. And I do the same thing every time because it's easy and I don't got time to be doing the most. What this is giving. And that is it, three steps. If I want this to be more of a dramatic look, I could do a black wing um, or I could add some more black eyeshadow in my outer corner um, and make it look a little bit more fierce. But today I kind of just want to look bronzy. I'm going to put a little bit of black eyeliner in my bottom lash line. Okay, add a little bit of dimension to the eye, taking a clean fluffy brush and getting all of this setting powder off of my face. I'm gonna follow it up with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Again, you already know. I wanna add some powder blush. This is the House Labs Blush in Fire Moon. If you don't like an overwhelming like bright pink or orange blush, I think this is really nice. Very nice. I think I want to add a little bit of pinky. This is French Rosette. Okay, so you have Fire Moon and French Rosette here. So you can see the difference. And I just want to put a little bit of pinkiness up here. Nothing crazy. I'm going to use a little bit of the YSL mascara to prep my lashes for my strip lashes. I'm so jealous of people that have naturally long eyelashes because all you would need is this mascara. It's so good. I'm adding the lashes that I always wear. These are Lily Lashes in Miami. All right, I got my lashes on. Normally, I would also put some little tiny falsies on the bottom, but I ran out. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Mascara. Shall we do a little lip? I like to overline my top lip because it like disappears when I smile. So to make sure it stays, I'm gonna use a little bit of powder. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of Makeup Forever in Limitless Brown. This is Charlotte Tilbury Yes Honey. It's a pretty nude. It's a satin lipstick. And then I'm gonna do Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate. That is a chocolate brown lip, if I ever seen one. I'm gonna brush up my eyebrow hairs. Okay, and then use NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Keep those hairs in place. All right, then I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in, what shade is this again? Dark brown. And just draw little hair strokes. I'm gonna finish with the one size setting spray because I love a matte look. Huh. <coughs> Last little touch, a tiny bit of translucent powder just on my forehead because my forehead loves to be shiny. This certified hater. 
sometimes when I have a pimple like this, I will literally put a dot of liquid eyeliner to try and make it look like a beauty mark. I, I honestly think I might do that today to just cover this up. Okay. Is it giving like tea and Tamara? Tamara? Which one has the mole? <laughs> do a little bit of this Fenty Beauty highlighter. get the whole face glowing all right shall we take down this hair so normally i would just sleep with the flexi rods in but i did not do that last night so what i did earlier was section everything out i left my leave out out because i just find it's easier to blend at the end um but i sectioned everything out individually wand curled each piece a little bit of hairspray and then flexi rotted it in the same direction that the curl was already going. So these have probably been in for two-ish hours. Pull these down. I'm just using this olive oil heat protectant serum. I just got this at the beauty supply store. I'm just gonna take pieces of my leave out with the bundle. Flat iron that to blend it. Okay, we got this hair situated. Let's go get dressed. I've been on a chocolatey brown kick lately, so let's get ready. Okay, we got the dress on. She's very cute, see? I definitely want to do gold for the earrings. I can do small or the big or just the round. I think I like the round. I feel like this is giving classy. These earrings are from Amazon. These should be in my storefront. Feeling a bit ashy. When I'm showing a little bit of leg, or a little bit of arm, I like to glow. I'm gonna use this Josie Moran body butter. If you love the smell of vanilla, you will love this. I wanna keep the rings simple today. I'm gonna do my dome ring from Amazon and this adjustable ring. I love buying adjustable rings because then you can stack them on any finger like I normally do. And also, I feel like I never know what size I am. <laughs> Chocolate brown pumps, duh. Shall we do some sunglasses? Okay, we're ready. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram. Bye.